What is up guys? Welcome back to the Slice Sub for another video. So before we get into today's video, which I think you're gonna love by the way, so hang in there. I broke my upload resolution that I wanted to do. So it took me four days to upload between the sales video and the last video that I posted, which was the first episode of the Ultimate Hunt. Be sure to go check that out if you haven't already. But it took me four days uh, in between videos. So I said at most I would do three days between uploads and if it took me longer, I would do a giveaway. So I'm gonna make my word. So we're gonna be doing a small giveaway. Now, same as most of the other giveaways, we're gonna slowly make them more valuable over time. So each time I forget to put a video up every three or four days, um, the giveaway is gonna get a little bit better. So we're gonna start out a little bit small and just work our way from there. And hopefully I won't forget to upload anymore because that's sort of the point. But anyways, what we're giving away is a Loose Mint Drift Tech, a Loose Mint Power Bomb, and a Loose Mint Ratified. These are all straight out of the package. These are the same ones that I sell in my listing. I'm gonna be giving those three away. Estimated value is right at about $30. So it's a small giveaway, but I think you guys will enjoy it. But that's my little punishment for not uploading. I can't believe I made you guys go four days without a video. Hopefully it won't happen again, but I'm sure you guys are hoping it does happen again so I can keep giving you free stuff. But so those are the three that we're giving away, those Drift Tech, Powerbomb, and Ratified. So to be eligible for the giveaway, just go down to the comment section of this video. And uh, well, first you have to watch the last part of the ultimate hunt that I just posted and you need to like that video. And then obviously you need to be subscribed to the channel and then go down in the comments and let me know what the total value that you think I'm gonna pay to complete the ultimate hunt. How much do you think it will cost me in the end to get all 36 carded accelerators? Right now we're $63 in and we're six of the way there. So go down in the comments and let me know how much you think it'll cost me, $1,000, $2,000, $10,000. Go down and comment and you'll be eligible for this giveaway for these three loose mint vehicles. And then I'll be announcing the winner in the next video. So now let's get on to this video. And what is up guys? Welcome back to Accelerations Hub for another video. So today we have something really, really cool. Now, uh, some of you probably saw it, but uh, on eBay a couple weeks ago, a guy had listed um, a set that had 34 out of the 36 accelerators carded and then a bunch of extras, like maybe 15 to 20 more accelerators that are just new in the package. So basically it was a complete set minus um, Spectite and Chicane, obviously the two rarest ones. So it had 34 of the 36 and a bunch of duplicates. Now the issue with what he was trying to do is I think he could have gotten more money for it if um, if he would have just tried to sell the 34 out of 36. But the issue is that most collectors, um, they just want one complete set. So if they already have 15 out of the, the 34 and they're just missing Chicane, Spectite, and Reverb, they're not gonna pay the full price and end up with a bunch of duplicates they're just not interested. So needless, needless to say, nobody was really going after his listing. So I kept sending him offers, he kept declining. But eventually with nobody bidding on his listing, um, the price kept dropping. He kept dropping about like 150 bucks every two or three days. And uh, eventually I found an offer that he liked and I submitted it. I had a bunch of eBay bucks saved up. So we paid a grand total of $600 for his lot. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. So I've got my big mystery box of accelerators right here. So let's get rid of all this. I opened this yesterday just to make sure that all of the uh, the cars that he specified would be in there. So let's take a look, shall we? Boom, look at that, that is gorgeous. So let's just, let's just lay them out here. So we got Spinebuster, RDO1. We got a Cove Light and an Orange Wing Synchro. I'm gonna organize them by their, uh, by their team. So Metal Maniacs, Drones, and Orange Wing Synchro, that's pretty rare. Look, 199 guys, what a steal back in the day. But Orange Wing Synchro, definitely a steal. What a beautiful car. I normally only come across the black and ones in a cove light. That's gorgeous. So let's keep going, shall we? Let's just reach into our mystery box here and see what we've got. So we have another Spine Buster. We have a Orange Wing Drift Tech and a Blue Wing Drift Tech. Look at that. So we have both Drift Tech variations. That's definitely a little bit rare. And a Power Rage. Fan favorite from the movies. Shout out to Vert Wheeler. So we have a Power Rage. Continue. To keep on here, we have a Rolling Thunder, an RDO 4, we have an RDO 6, a Blackwing Synchro to go with the Orange Wing Synchro, and a Hollowback, the nice satin one. They just keep coming and coming and coming. So we have High Voltage, talk about rare tech vehicles. High Voltage and Power Rage, beautiful. And then we have another Spine Buster, that's a third one. Now let's get into some silencers. We have Technetium, new in package. Anthracite, Iridium, Carbide, and Octanium. So then we've got a Nitrium. And now let's get into some expensive cars. Right off the top we have RDO5. Look at that, that's like a 50 to $75 car. Beautiful card, pristine. Then we have Pile Driver. We got Pork Chops car here. 
Then, oh, Flathead Fury. One of the most beautiful cars in the set. New and packaged Flathead Fury and RDO-8. The big baddie from the drones. Oh man, for some reason the, uh, the cards are stuck down there. That's a bummer. Hmm, that's interesting. I wonder if I can uh, fix that. But RDO-8 and then boom, we've got a reverb. Beautiful card, almost no creasing at all on this bad boy. Well, actually there is a little bit right here, but we have a reverb. But don't worry, we are nowhere near done. We have Ratified, Jackhammer, Hollowback, Rolling Thunder, and another Orange Wing Synchro. Then we got a silver variation of RDO3. Then we have the black version of RDO3. And then another silver variation. Those are nice. I've been out of stock of RDO3 for a while. Then we have a Hollowback, another Hollowback, and a Riveted. Let's see if I can slide these under here. Man, that's a lot of Metal Maniacs. Let's just keep on rolling. We have another black RDO3. Rolling Thunder. A Rolling Thunder with no cards. An RDO2. And then Baseline and RD10. Let's pump up the Baseline. And RD10. Wish we could have seen that card in the movies. And this is the last handful from the box. We have another Octanium. We have a Power Bomb. We have an RDO9, a Battle Spec, because nobody beats Kurt Wilde. Then we have an Excellium and a Metalloid to finish it off. So that is the haul from our mystery box. Oh, don't look over there, guys. You're not meant to see that yet. That's coming in another video. Shout out to the Ultimate Hunt. And uh, go check out the first episode if you haven't seen it already. So this is our haul that we got. Some really rare cars in here and some cool variations. Just beautiful. And when he originally listed this lot at like $1,500 and I sent him an offer of like 800 bucks for it. He declined it, sent me a counter offer of like 1600 and said, this is definitely what it's worth. There's a lot of people sending me offers on it. And he said, and stop sending me lowball offers. But um, I personally didn't think that the set was worth that much without Spectite and Chicane. Cause I mean, you got to think three to $400 a piece drastically lowers the value of your set, but the price kept dropping and I consistently kept putting in offers on it. And eventually I got it for $600 even. So, um, uh, I think it was a great purchase, honestly. I mean, you got to think Reverb, Flathead Fury, RDO8, RDO5. Most of those cars can get you close to four or $500 um, altogether. So really, I think I made out like a bandit. And uh, now the decision of what to do with these. So the most logical thing to do would be to just complete the ultimate hunt right now and just take all of these and have a complete set minus chicane and spec tight. But, um, but I really enjoy going through and trying to find them for cheap and find deals on them on eBay for the ultimate hunt. So... I'm not going to be keeping any of these. Yep, you heard me right. I'm going to be selling all of these. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rarer ones and I'm going to sell those sealed. So we're going to take Reverb. Let's see here. Flathead Fury. Where's Pile Driver? Pile Driver. RDO5 and RDO8. And I'll probably take an Orange Wing Synchro, High Voltage, and maybe Power Ridge. And I think I'm going to sell these as sealed um, up on my eBay page. And then the rest of these, I'm going to open every single one of them. Because as you guys know, my car listing on my eBay page has been very out of stock recently. Because you guys love these cars. And you obviously like the prices that I'm selling them at. I mean, I typically try to give you guys a decent deal on them. I'm not trying to price gouge. But, I mean, with all of these different cars in here, this will make my listing really pop. And hopefully it'll give you guys a chance to get some loose mint cars that you've been missing for your set. I mean, oh wait. I'll probably sell Technetium. Let's see. Let's have a cub light all open and the rest of them. So all these cars are going to be opened and we're going to do a pack opening. So these are going to be sold sealed on my page, I believe. Uh, if I can get decent value for them, if not, I'll probably just open the high voltage and uh, the Technetium. But the rest of these, I'm going to be opening in the next video. I'm going to be ripping through all of these. How many are there? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So there's 40 of them and uh, spoiler alert, I let my girl open a couple cause she wanted to pull a foil. So she already opened like six or seven of them. So there's technically like 56 or 57 in the listing. So now I have a lot of new loose mint cars that are gonna be in the listing. So stay tuned for the next video when we rip through all of these. So that's all I have for this video guys. I just wanted to show you guys the big purchase that I made and I thought you guys would be psyched to see all those cars carded. Some of them I haven't seen sealed for a very long time like Technetium, High Voltage. Um, I've never held Piledriver, Flathead Fury, Reverb, 
Um, only when I had that factory sealed set a couple months ago. And if you guys haven't seen that video, you should definitely go check it out. I'll put a card at the top of the video so you guys can go check out when I bought a factory set, reviewed some of the rare cars, and then I promptly sold a factory set pretty quickly. And uh, I kind of wish I'd held on to it, I'm not gonna lie, but it was a good deal. But that's all I have for this video, guys. So as always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos from the Accelerator Sub. And stay tuned on my eBay page for some of these rare cards that are gonna be listed soon. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.